Hey gang, well I did uh, do some work that, that I didn't record. Uh, we got the uh, motor off the tiller and getting the uh, transmission stripped down there. Uh, just have to pull that motor off that uh, mounting bracket there and got the new motor here. It's uh, Kohler replacing the Briggs and a couple horsepower more. Um, got some new parts. Um, one of the things I was pretty happy to see was this uh, new reversing disc right here. You can uh, compare the, the thicknesses. This is the old one and there's the, there's the new one. So that'll get uh, put on. Got a couple seals there and a few other parts. At, uh, two new belts, a new throttle cable. So, yeah, we're uh, ready to continue on tearing this down and uh, putting in the new parts and uh, bringing her back to life. Hey tubers, how's it going? Well, finally getting back into working on the uh, rototiller project again. I had a little bit of a setback on uh, December 23rd. I had a major heart attack and been going through the recovery process for that. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. They uh, took care of me and uh, I'm back on the road to recovery. So, what we're looking at here is uh, the re new motor and the old motor and I gotta take the old motor off and put the new motor on and then we've also got the transmission that needs some new grease seals put in it and uh, a few other things so still getting on to the disassembly process here of all this so we'll see what we can do with this going forward Sliding right off. Excellent. That's what I like to see. I can pull it. None the worse for wear. Okay, and we have a key way here. I'm pulling, I can take my scrap bolt. Now, what do we got? We got a uh, half inch, nine sixteenths. Four.
Let's quit the casting. I think I will take this. Throw that in the parts washer. Clean that up. Now, I think what I'm going to do is clean this up on the wire brush. Okay, got the pulley cleaned up. Looks like it's going to go good. Hmm, the key's uh, considerably shorter than the old one. There's a reason for that. Okay, we're gonna fire up my parts washer.
sit there. Definitely keeps me from getting all splashed with cleaning fluid. Okay, back to this. Basically, I use uh, mineral spirits, kerosene, a little bit of old gas or something like that. Reminder to take my all my new medications for my heart attack. And I'll be doing that in about 15 minutes here. So that's looking pretty good. Now I think what I'm gonna do. That right there. Take this right here. That's good, everything's lining up and going together the way it should. Okay, I do believe at this point we can crank these down.
this will go on just like yeah, let's see got a keyway in there possibly isn't That is that. Well, that was pretty straightforward. Getting the uh, couple snap rings and pulley just slid right off. So uh, that gives me access to that seal, which actually doesn't look bad. Looks like it's in pretty good shape, but uh, I should be able to get that replaced. I think the next order of business here is uh, get that engagement, belt engagement handle off and the tiller cover off and wheels and tires and start tearing the rest of this off because Tim wants some new seals put in that thing. Okay, we got the belt engagement lever off. Now we're ready to, let's see, I think the next thing to do is maybe get this whole tiller assembly cover off and so I can work on the gearbox itself. Because uh, that's where we're going next. That's the item that we're going to be working on right there. Okay, got the Tiller gar shield off. That was like four bolts, five bolts, and uh, got it down to the gearbox here. And I think the next order of business is to uh, try and get those uh, greasy old wheel hubs off of there and uh, see what we can do about that. Okay, got the Wheels off and down to the axle shafts here and getting it uh, slowly disassembled down to the point where I can get the new seals in. Uh, I'll have to take a look here and see what, what Tim ordered up for me to put in. Okay. an oil seal. That's the rear, the new rear reversing disc. Put that back over here. The other one. Quite the difference there between the old and the new. This is, 
Looks like the other axle seal. I don't know, that's a pretty large diameter shaft. I wonder where those go. Are these axle seals? Okay, those are the new axle seals for each side. These, not sure where they would go unless it's in that tube going back to the tiller or inside the tiller on either side. That could be the case. Okay, we know we got the our new seals for the axle shafts and stoves right there. And what else do we have here? Got two new belts. throttle cable That will have to be hooked up to the new motor in due time. However, I think that uh, I'm just going to put this on right where it belongs get it out of the way Okay, that looks good. Okay, they suggested a drop a Loctite on the bolts there. And that was something I had not done, so let's see what we got here. 
blue thread locker. Let's put a little bit of that on there. Okay, let's snug these down. Okay, they got thread locker on them. Well, gang, I think I found the location for the other two seals that they included in the package. That's on this uh, either side of that shaft. And that one looks a little juicy. Um, drained all the grease out, and I don't think I had as much grease in there as it should have had. It, but, uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, we're at the point now where we could probably get the old seals out, or clean it up. Get the old seals out and uh, the new seals in. And uh, actually start 
putting this back together uh, once things are cleaned up. So I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and send this uh, video out uh, because we're kind of at the the teardown, done with done with taking stuff apart, and we'll just uh, see what we can do here with the rest of these this stuff and. Uh, Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Take care.